One key difference between rails for stairs over horizontal rail is that the routed holes are wider to allow for racking. Kingston stair rails are cut for stairs built at the standard 32 degree angle, but can be used for stairs from 25 to 37 degrees. Steep stair sections are also available for stairs from 37 to 42 degrees. When planning for steps, be sure that the top step of the stairs is lower than the deck surface, because if you extend the deck at the top step, the angle will be too steep to attach the rail as a standard installation and will require an additional post. Also, check that the length of the rail will extend between the top and bottom post supports. If it does not, you will need to add an intermediate stair line post. If handrail is required, posts cannot be more than six feet on center. Begin your stair railing installation by laying down a flat surface, such as this one inch board, cut to fit between the posts. This will smooth out inconsistencies in the stairs, as well as elevate the bottom rail to the desired height for installation. Next, place the bottom rail along the side posts and check for equal baluster spacing at both ends. Mark the rail angle where it intersects the posts. Measure back one quarter inch from each side. Rails and vinyl covers will be cut at the same angle as the stairway. If not already inserted, slide the aluminum channel into the rail then make the first cut. Reposition the rail for the second cut, pushing the aluminum insert in by a quarter inch. This will help keep the rail from scratching the posts during installation. Put the cut rail in place to check the fit. You should have a quarter inch of space at each end. Next, align the bottom rail with the top rail. Transfer the measurements. and cut. Slide the vinyl covers onto the vinyl rail, followed by the brackets, and put in place. Transfer the stair angle to the vinyl covers. Then cut. To safely cut the vinyl covers, slide them onto a scrap piece of rail and secure them in place with either tape or plastic wrap. Do not attempt to cut the covers without placing them on a rail. Now, slide the cut covers onto the rail and insert the aluminum brackets at both ends. Place the rail in position and check the fit by sliding the vinyl covers over the brackets. Secure the bracket to the post using the provided screws into the top two holes in the bracket. Because of the angle, it may be helpful to first drill pilot holes with a 964th inch drill bit to prevent the bracket from sliding. Then, secure the rail to the bracket by first pre-drilling 964th inch holes, then using the one inch screws provided. Finally, slide the vinyl cover to the post and secure in place with vinyl adhesive. Next, insert the baluster into the holes in the bottom rail. The balusters are pre-cut to the appropriate stair height. Align the top rail with the balusters and press down so the balusters are fully inserted into the top rail. Slide the vinyl covers onto the top rail and insert the aluminum brackets. Check the fit. In this case, one of the covers is obstructed by a baluster, so it cannot be retracted for screwing the bracket to the post. Remove this cover and field cut it along the bottom so it may be wrapped around the rail after the rail is attached. Now, Pre-drill 964th inch holes into the bottom two holes at each end and secure the rail to the posts with the screws provided. Then, 
secure the rail to the brackets by first pre-drilling 9 64 inch holes, then using the provided one inch screws to the flat side of the rail. Next, slide or wrap the vinyl covers in place and secure with vinyl adhesive. Finally, apply vinyl adhesive to the post caps and install.